Hello everyone, the Big Easy Chef here. I'm back. I had the flu, you know, it's just that time of year, and I had a few other things going on. I shot this video at the end of last year. I think New Year's Eve is a good time to look back at the past, and this is exactly what I did this New Year's Eve. I was thinking about all of the dogs from my past. This prompted me to look at old photos of those dogs. The first dog was Lucky. That's me on the left with Lucky and my older brother's on the right with his dog Spot. This photo was taken in 1949, and we didn't have those dogs very long. I don't know what happened to them. Here's another photo of Lucky, and that's me with my mother. What's your favorite dog? Do you have a certain breed that you like? Leave a comment down below and let us know. The next dog to come along was Skipper. I think this photo was taken around 1953 or 1954. Skipper was only with us for about three months. Then I was told he went to live on a farm where he'd be happier there than with us. I think going to live on a farm was code for he went to the pound. Here's the next dog to come into my life. This is Bambi and he stayed with us for a lot of years. This photo was taken in 1958. That's my younger brother on the right and me on the left. I really have some fond memories of Bambi. He was a dog that went with me everywhere. I was in a small parade and I built a cage on a wagon and had Bambi inside the cage like I had captured him. Bambi and I got first place in that parade. I think this was around 1960 or so. I was an adult living on my own when Bambi passed away sometime in the early 1970s. Many years passed, then Foxy came along in 1994. She was a Sheltie and a very smart, loving dog. Foxy knew a lot of tricks. One of the best ones would be when you said bang to her, she would fall down, roll over, and wag her tail. When you told her that dead dogs didn't wag their tail, she would stop wagging her tail. Foxy loved everyone and is still loved by everyone. She was with us until 2004 when she passed away. The next dog to come along was Greta. It was 1999 when she came into our home. Greta was just a puppy and a very cute puppy, if I must say so myself. She was smart, as you know German Shepherds are. She loved everyone and she loved to play ball. In this photo, you can see just how long Greta's tongue was. Greta was a true gentle giant and she knew when to be on the job if needed. Greta got cancer in 2009 and left us that year. Well, it's time for a break from this reminiscing. So for New Year's dinner, we had some salad with some pear, toasted almonds, and assortment of lettuce with some spring mix and romaine with a dash of mayonnaise on top. Very tasty. Then we had some fresh Dungeness crab with fresh lemon, melted butter, and some sourdough french bread. It just doesn't get any better than that. What a way to end the year. Okay, back to those doggies. Carly came to us in 2005. She was six months old when she came to us. This photo was taken shortly after Carly came to us. Carly loved to play ball. She was very protective of us. She loved being by our side, just chilling or sneaking into the garbage but we always seem to catch her in the act. Several years ago, Carly was diagnosed with Panis in her left eye. Panis is a disease that can cause a dog to go blind if not treated early. We caught this very early, and so we were able to treat it with an ointment. She did very well. Carly got good at having the ointment applied to her left eye daily. Carly developed a gallbladder disease. When Carly developed the gallbladder disease, she was too old for surgery, so we tried some experimental medicine for her. This seemed to help her for a long time. Here's the medicine that Carly had to take daily. This is a video of her taking the different medicine. Carly was a good sport and allowed me to place those very large pills in the back of her throat. You can see just how large those pills are. Carly looked forward to her treat after taking those pills. I split the pills up so she had some in the morning and some at night. This seemed to work out pretty good for her. Here's Carly waiting patiently for something. She's so patient. And when given the word, she's ready to go after what she's been waiting for so long. 
and so patiently. I bet you're surprised that it wasn't a steak, but just canned green beans. You know, dogs come into our life. They are like children. They look to us to care for them. They need us to take care of them, to feed them, make sure they stay healthy, to tell them what to do all of the time. Unlike children, dogs never grow up. We need to take care of them all of their life, to tell them what to do and what not to do. They're always dependent on us, as we are their caretakers. Children grow up, and hopefully they've learned from us how to function in the world. We leave this world most of the time before our children do. The hard part is dogs don't live long enough. They get into our hearts, and when they leave us, they leave this huge hole in our heart. On a sad note, on December 21st, 2015, shortly after this video had been shot, Carly became ill. We rushed her to the vets, and her gallbladder had ruptured, and there was nothing they could do to save Carly. We were at her side when she passed away. We had to say goodbye to our family member, best friend, a dog that brought us so much joy and happiness. May you rest in peace, Carly. Be sure to give your dog a pat on the head as you helped me through this hard time. So remember what they say, you are what you eat, so eat healthy. Until next time, I am the Big Easy Chef. Mm -hmm.